All right, here is a really old-fashioned hospital that has been stacked up one floor. A collection of old power lifts awaits us in this special episode where there's one host and one expert. Welcome to the seventh episode of Addis Elevator Tours, themed as hospital in season one. Today we are visiting Helios Clinic in Siegburg in Germany. And this episode is not an ordinary episode, but rather a podcast-like episode where I, at the Transporting Adventure, is the host and I have a expert with me. Welcome. Uplifting poster. Thank you, Ada. Yeah, I already know that place for quite a long time and I know how the lifts have been changed over the years. Well, not from scratch, but I think from the early 2000s. So I'm able to tell you a lot about that. It's quite interesting to look at the backgrounds and how the place has been changed. All right, but before we do that, let me show you the first lift I filmed at the hospital, which is a glass traction elevator made by Otis back in 1996. Looks like this one, it also go down here. How about this one? I have a key switch is locked off. I'm not sure of myself. So, Postover, I see in this map that there are four lifts here, isn't it? Yes, there are four lifts quite next to each other, but two of them originally exist only. The other two ones have been added on later in external glass shafts. The Otis one is the newest 
the other one has been added in 1992 and modernized since then. But the original lifts in the middle, they are probably rather interesting since they have been changed a lot since they have been built. The hospital has been stacked up one floor and these lifts have been extended in the 90s and they replaced the fixtures, added new motors and such, but the cab design is quite original. It's quite interesting they didn't replace the cabs. And this appears as a set, but in fact it isn't, or it wasn't, maybe it has been changed now, I don't know. Uh, if you call these, only the lower lift on the map comes, always. The upper one only comes if you use a special key on the path. And then there was the older glass lift that I did a thing with some delta fixtures, wasn't it? Yes, the delta fixtures have been added on later. I don't know what fixtures it originally had, but I guess it was just generic. The interesting fact is this is a glass shaft, but the lift itself isn't glass, and it is stuff only and locked off. In the past, with a key, and sometimes that lift has waited in the basement with the stores open, so I managed to film it, but it doesn't do so much anymore, and they replaced the ordinary lock with uh, some kind of sort of chip reader. All right, interesting. Is there something else to tell about these lifts? Maybe there's something worth to tell about this set of two. Since the Otis lift has been built, they only open one door in the basement. On the other side, they have made the shaft door stuck, so it's not possible to open them anymore. The coil fixture there has been removed. And now to the next lift, which is a really nice old bower lift that has been modernized with Kona M series fixtures, well, at least in the video which is shown here. Wow, that was a really amazing elevator, but I heard something happened to the elevator, wasn't it? Yes, that's correct. They replaced the Corner M series fixtures with generic fixtures. First things first, I do not have a photo of that, so we just keep the Corner M series fixtures in mind, but you can trust me, no one likes the generic fixtures, they absolutely do not fit the design of the lift. No, is the cab still preserved? Yes, the cab is preserved, but they changed the motor once again. I think it already used to have variable frequency, but they changed it once again. It, it behaves quite different now. But for some strange reason, even though the hospital has been stacked up in the 90s, they did not extend this lift. Oh, that is really weird. 
All right, moving on. The next lift is another bower that has been modernized into Kune. This lift appears to have an extended cab in the back, and it serves a lot of eight floors. Unlike the other one, this one does not have any variable frequency. All right, now let's go back into the hospital, across the four lifts, and to another area where there were two small lifts. Back when I went, there used to be old Bauer lifts as well, which have been modernized with Otis fixtures, but these lifts didn't reach the fourth floor as well as they didn't reach the basement. But this is now heritage stuff. These lifts have both been replaced with generic, and they have now been extended one floor up, and also one floor down and they now have a door arrangement across corner so uh, if the door arrangement is cross corner which floor does the main floor use and which floor does the side door use the side door has exclusively been added uh, for the basement because the lift originally didn't go there and the architecture wasn't prepared for these small lifts to go to the basement, so they were in the need to add an extra door on the side. So the side door is pretty much different from the main door, right? Yes, it is. It is a bit bigger. All right. Okay, now to the next lift, where we need to go into the service area. And the lift is also a really nice old bower lift that has been modernized with Otis fixtures as well. And it has been extended when the hospital has been stacked up to the fourth floor. And the door on the fourth floor opens outside. We have got quite a nice view from top.
wow, that was a really great view out there. And uh, there should be three elevators in this corridor, right? Yes, that's correct. These elevators are very different from each other, but they share one similarity. They are all service lifts in the service area. The uppermost lift out of the three on the map has been added on later in an external shaft that is made of glass, but the lift is not made of glass. And that lift is locked off on the floors where it opens right into street level. Then there is the old bower lift, which has been extended when the hospital has been stacked up. And the lift that is on the lower part of the map, that one is a very cheap Otis lift that only goes between basement and ground. And also on ground it opens to street level and it, you need a key if you want to call it from there. Okay, speaking of which, I actually filmed this lift right here. So here's a video from me of this old elevator that just goes between two floors. Fresh air. Have a cool look here. Alright, now let's get to the other part of the hospital where there is the kitchen and a service area. This area got equipped with two lifts without any doors delivered by Bauer in the 60s. One of these lifts has been removed. When I visited that hospital and filmed the lift the first time, the chef door was still in place, but the lift already didn't work. And later, when I went back, the doors have been removed and there is just a brick wall, but the other lift still exists. And that one just goes between two floors, but it has a traction motor, and that one is completely original. I 
if I can sum this up. I believe not. And that was everything, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, there was something else, wasn't there? Yes, there was something left. There is also a stuff-only building with some flats and I think a school in it. But it is across the street. If you look on the map, it is on the northwestern part of the map, but it is out of the range of the map. There is one lift in, which is a bower that has been modernized with Coda M-series fixtures. And last time I went there, it still had the M-series fixtures, so I hope they are still in place. Alright, and that wraps up about everything right this time. And in the next week I am going straight to 